Man, am I glad I checked that I was recording because my voice was not in that video. I would have been there talking for Matt Long for no reason. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? My name is Infamous Isaac, and I'm here with a video on Sanji from One Piece, of Ben Swell's Kanji. And the reason I want to talk about him is because I, I got inspiration from Totally Not Mark and Morge, where they talk about One Piece to varying degrees. And one opinion that they share, similar at least, is about Sanji and if you don't want any spoilers about post time skip pre time skip or just one, just one piece in general then leave the video but I'm gonna be talking about that because I got inspired by those two to talk about this and get my opinion on it right and my thing is pre time skip Sanji versus post time skip Sanji and how they differ where yeah pre time skip Sanji where he's a man who respects women and wants to just overall enjoy their presence and be around them you know not like in a perverted sense but in a not justified either but more in like a this guy is chivalrous in a sense he respects women wholeheartedly and honestly to an extent more than his life he would never hit a woman he would never disrespect a woman and he got those ideals from the people that he was surrounded by right so pre time skip sanji respects women wholeheartedly and idolizes them while post time skip sanji takes that those ideals to an extreme to the point where it's perverted he is a pervert no doubt wholeheartedly pre time skip sanji was brock while post time skip sanji is jiraiya and master roshi and there's master roshi and jiraiya like they're they are perverted characters but they've been established like that for since the beginning of their shows right of their respective shows while sanji has had two instances of him acting differently the way i see it that bothers me because it's inconsistent and it's not like it's inconsistent a lot it's more like it's inconsistent with what he was built up to be and as as much as i like wano or not not wano excuse me whole cake island i feel like post time skip sanji is just an overall worse variant of the original because pre time skip sanji i feel like even though he likes women it's just sometimes it could be like wow he's a simp i i respected it because it made him an indiv it made him it gave him individuality excuse me while post time skip sanji was just like wow he's a pervert and now he's a cretin because of that it's like come on man i don't have, well perfect characters are divisive because if they're a good person underneath then i guess it's like i can look past it even though it's morally the like it's it's bad it's morally bad <laughs> but with sanji it's seeing that change like going from the way he was when he was 19 to what he is now when he's 21 and it's disgusting you know it's nasty i don't i don't like it i don't mess with it i feel like if you're gonna change sanji then you should have just had him been a perfect character from the beginning and it would have been annoying but it would have been consistent right and while the I'm mentioning consistency a lot. My problem is the fact that he turned into a pervert character because it, it, it didn't happen gradually. It happened after post time skip where he became that character during the the gap in, in the story. And I feel like that's just like why, you know? I I guess it's because he was on the the island with Ivankov and all that. So it's like that's probably why, because he was lusting for a woman. But to me, it's just like that goes against his morals. Him being a pervert is like actually being disgusting. It's nasty. And he has some signs of that in pre-time skip too, like with Thriller Bark and all that. Wanting to see Nami and everything. Like it's, it's not like it's not there. But that change towards that idea, that ideal, if anything, to me bothers me. Because I feel like it kind of sullies that character and how he was built up to be and what we find out about him in the future with whole cake island i feel like what his mother taught him and what zeph taught him are kind of thrown to the wind when he becomes a pervert and you know you you can look at it as a character flaw i i i could as well and I, honestly i feel like i i do at some points but i feel like him just having that change that immediate change with some foreshadowing in the background as a pre time skip it just doesn't satisfy me i don't feel like I like the way Sanji went after pre post time skip and it just it, it again it, it's worsened by the fact that whole cake island is such a good co contextualization for Sanji's character 
because we learn so much more about his family, about his upbringing, about his life before his death, and why he was in the East Blue, everything, you know? And I feel like it just would have been better if, because Sanji in Whole Cake Island is no, like, not a pervert at all. But you have before uh, Whole Cake Island with him, with um, Viola and all of them, and him just seeing good woman, good looking woman, and then after the same thing, you know, especially Iwana with the bathhouse scene, like, you see those instances, then you have this isolated section with Whole Cake Island where Sanji is calm, he's nice, he's back to, like, old Sanji, back, like, before um, Thriller Bark, where you have Annie's lobby and before, where it feels like he's the defender of any woman who's suffering injustice, and he admires them, and I feel like that's what I liked about Sanji. And that's what I miss about him. Now he just feels like he's a pervert for gags. And that's it. Like it comes at the cost of the character. And while to people, to some people who've seen this and understand Sanji's character, it's like, why care about it? It doesn't matter. We already got Whole Cake Island. And to me, it's just like, again, it's a disservice to the character. It doesn't feel like it was like he more. When, when when he made his video, he he put Oda hates this straw hat, right? And I feel like it's not that far of an, a, a, a what's it called, a reach. Because while he did get his own arc and he did get his own story, it's like, not what was the point, but why not have his growth come after that too? Like, why not have him grow into a more chivalrous man instead of devolving into a pervert, right? And it's just like, that that doesn't make sense to me in, in that in that sense it, it doesn't add up for me but overall like Sanji definitely plummeted for me because of that he used to be such a cool character to me but now it's like he's not my favorite straw hat anymore and it's like dang man that sucks because he was so good he was genuinely so good and whole cake island made it better for sure but I just don't I can't bring myself to say it anymore because those traits just negatively impact my perception of him and it hurts but that's just the way it is. That's just the way that, that the story panned out. And I hope one day, like, he, he turns into that chivalrous guy instead of just being a pervert and wanting to see people like that. It's like, I pray for the day that Sanji becomes the Mr. Prince or whatever he was called, bro. I pray for the day. Because right now, this isn't really the Sanji that I got into, you know? This is the Sanji that devolved into gags type stuff. So, you know. I, I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. It's not just consistency, but it's the, the growth and what we got from him and what we got from the story. So I, I, I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. If not, then you know, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to clarify. But thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy. I'll see you all in the next video. I just want to get this video out there quickly because it's been on my mind for a little bit. And thank you to Morge and Toila and Mark for voicing your opinions. It definitely inspired me to talk about it and think about it because I wouldn't have thought about it beforehand so thanks to them and I'll see you all in the next video peace